I know I haven't written in a while. I'm sorry. But I've been pretty busy lately. You probably know why. Well, I'm sure the question on your mind is how am I doing? Well, I'm pretty good considering the circumstances. Now, right now I'm in Iraq, but by the time you get this letter, I don't know where I'll be. Home, hopefully. In the past few days, I've really learned a lot about myself and everyone around. Now, you can read every book on what there is to read and talk to vets about their experiences. But nothing can prepare you for what you see. My company has taken two casualties so far. A machine gunner stepped on a mine and took some shrapnel in the foot and the leg. He's all right, though. And the other was our lieutenant. Lieutenant Childers. He was shot in the gut in our first fight. Yeah, I was standing right next to him when he got hit, and it didn't look too bad at first. But he died before the medevac chopper even got there. He was the first American to die in the war. Now, I've never seen anyone die before, especially not someone as close to me as him. Now, I don't know if I've ever talked about him before, but he was probably one of the best Marines and men that I have ever met. And without him teaching us and pushing us, I don't think any of my company would be half as good as it is. I'd never been so scared in my life. I've never felt so alone. For one minute he's there fighting, and the next he's gone. But we've pushed on. And I hate to say this, but I think we've grown stronger. Yeah, you know, we have a new form of motivation. And instead of let's win this so we can go home, it's let's win this so Lieutenant didn't die from now. Still, it's the worst thing I've seen in my life. And I've seen plenty of other things to give me nightmares. But I'm done talking about bad stuff. I'm trying to think of something funny to say. If it's not too funny. So the other morning, around 5 a.m., we were all standing post and we heard something in front of us. Well, normally I would just say shoot, but there are a lot of Marines and civilians around, so we have to be careful what we shoot. It was too dark to see with our eyes, and there wasn't enough illumination to use our night vision, so naturally we're scared shitless. And so for about 30 minutes, there we are in our fighting hole, tired ass as hell, itching to shoot, just scared out of our minds, waiting for the sun to come out, or for it to start shooting us. And after about 30 minutes, we were told to return to our vehicles. And everybody turned and ran back to the Amtrak as fast as they could, just hoping that we didn't get shot in the back. And as I reached the Amtrak, Sonny and I turned to see if we had to shoot whoever he was. You know, and there he was. Little baby camel looking for his mommy. <laughs> Just imagine 30 rough, tough, grunt marines running for their lives from a little baby camel. <laughs> I miss and love you all so much. Hey, don't worry about me. Because you know somehow this skinny mick always lands on his feet. <laughs>